What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Forever Stranded Lost Souls. Oh, yeah, guys. So last episode, we ended up making the shuriken here, and this thing is pretty good. It's not the best. It's definitely not the best, but I am able to freely go around the nether now and not feel like I'm going to get wrecked by blazing juggernauts. Yeah. So I've been going around. In fact, I went over uh, to our nether fortress and I found the path out of there where we were collecting our mushrooms for the first time. And this time I didn't feel scared at all to be outside doing that kind of stuff. Uh, but yeah, we were able to like kill things pretty quickly. Uh, so yeah, that guy <laughs> went down pretty easily. We are still trying to get one more level on this thing. Uh, pretty much what I've been doing is holding my sword and then right clicking this thing on different enemies around. Yep. So we can now <laughs> pretty much kill all the ones with the sparklies on them. Not all the time, I'm sure. I'm Like if we get another one of those ones with the crazy regeneration, that'll be a real pain to do. But yeah, we can go around and not really worry too much about the blazing juggernauts wrecking our face like I was saying. And that's really good. Uh, we've been collecting a lot of experience. I've also been leveling up our different skills and such. There's something else over there. I don't know. I see a bunch of like red circles on the minimap nearby. Uh, but I don't hear like a blazing juggernaut. So I don't think we have to, to be that concerned about it. Uh, but anyway, if we go to our skills here, our building, I've leveled up to 30. I think I put some more in farming, maybe defense. I don't remember everything that we've done. But yeah, I've been trying to level this thing up so we can get five modifiers available on it. We currently have four and we need 500 more XP. But yeah, five modifiers available. And then if we are able to get the obsidian that we're looking for, we should be able to make this thing unbreakable and then really not have to worry about stuff. I mean, right now we have lots of ammo available <laughs> before we have to repair it. We can kill practically anything we want to with it uh, that spawns here in the nether. Obviously... There's like the really tough mobs, the blighted ones with the purple fire that might be an issue. Um, but yeah, I'm, I've been really enjoying just going around and not feeling like I have to stay in our little enclosed area. Again, for those of you who might not have seen, we are playing this in hardcore mode and we have a certain amount of lives and we have not received any additional lives yet, <laughs> but we've died once. I think we have a total of five lives. So yeah, I haven't been going around trying to kill things freely up until this point which is nice uh so i have magma cream on me i was kind of looking at our quest book here I, I wanted to knock out some quests i was looking at the better with mods one and i saw the saw i saw the saw <laughs> but the saw has slime balls leading off of it and i thought that was weird so i was like slime ball do we get slime balls for using the saw on something but i'm not seeing anything in here that looks like that if i go to slime ball and I look at the different recipes here. I'm not seeing anything that shows that we can use a saw to get slime balls. Now I do see here in the cauldron for primal core, we can put a magma cream in and get a slime ball out the green type, which is fine. Uh, but also I saw that we can take the magma creams that we have, do one of these numbers, turn it into a slime block, right? And then do one of these and turn those into the green slime. So is that a cheaty way of doing it? I don't know, but it's definitely a way of doing it since we don't have any other slime. I guess we are free to do that one more time here. And that should complete the quest, I do believe. Yeah, there it is. Cool. All right, so we have slime balls, and now I don't have room to put those in here. Oh, goodness. I guess we'll get rid of some rotten flesh. All right, so... Oh, yeah, the uh, monsters that have the little sparklies on them or the ones that are blighted generally drop some kind of an item every time you kill them and i have killed quite a few of them i think this one came off a pigman we could probably melt that down get some iron out of it but honestly i'm not that concerned at this time about doing that kind of stuff also we've been getting so much sulfur i've just been kind of throwing it over there and letting it despawn okay so this is complete let's claim that reward we'll pop this one so we get storage upgrade and drawer okay that's fine uh let's go on to the next one here so leaves sticks is the name of this quest so apparently if we have 16 oak leaves and a stack of sticks that completes this quest okay well let's go ahead and do that that's really easy stack of leaves stack of sticks okay really really difficult quest here guys 
All right. So we got that done. That do I don't know why that's off the saw. There's probably some reason for that, but we don't we don't really need to use the saw for that, I guess. Uh, so that's going to give us either 16 sticks or a loot chest. Hmm. Which one? I think we'll do the loot chest, obviously. All right. So that's going to give us redstone or gold or iron ore and a whole diamond nugget. All right. So we can put all that stuff in here. We're not going to be using it at the moment. All right. So moving on from there. Uh, we have a quest here for gears. This wants us to make eight of these types of wooden gears. I don't think it's the other ones. So that's the ones that require planks and sticks in order to do. And I keep shooting uh, the shurikens <laughs> when I open up the quest book. So I'll take those off my bar for right now. So we need eight of these gears. So I believe that was something like this and something like that, right? Yeah. One, two, three, four recipes. And that should complete this quest very easy all right so we're knocking out these quests like they are nothing it's awesome okay put all that stuff back all right now i got so much stuff in my inventory uh, i kind of want to cue those on the ground but i'm gonna resist the temptation all right so we will claim this loot chest man look at us go knocking out these quests 10 more gravel all right i'll put that away all right so moving on so the next thing here wants us to get axles, which is going to require steel. We don't have steel yet. All right. So mob drops 64 bone meal, 16 blaze and six leather scraps. Now the 64 bone meal might be a problem. I don't know if we're going to be able to do that. Now let's take a look at the uses on the bones. Is there like a special thing that we can get if we do it through the grinder thing, the millstone? So we get six per. So that would give us a total of a little over half a stack that's not going to be enough with all we have now i guess we can also take some of these rib bones here and turn these into more bones like so yeah okay okay so that's going to get us somewhere i think that'll do it actually uh so let's grab that we need leather scraps which we can get from like some of these boots which is fine what was the other thing we need 16 blase powder there it is all right so now we just need to go upstairs run these bones through the millstone and we should be able to get what we need here uh, i need to turn on all the noisy machines and this one oh yeah so i was kind of thinking we could turn this one on separately if we had this go up into another gearbox and then that gearbox would go up into that one that way we can have the power running along here to this machine without having to turn this one on yeah the only way to turn that thing off <laughs> the only way to turn this one off is by turning this lever off, which turns off the power of this guy. Anyway, uh, are we getting anything from this? I see six bone meal, but there's some more. So we got 12. Did we lose a bone meal? Ah, I think it was right on top. Okay, well, anyway, I'll go ahead and wait for this to finish up, get ourselves a stack of bone meal so we can complete this quest, and then we will move right on. All right, so all we need is one more little bit of bone meal here, and there it is. Now we got our stack. Let's turn that off. That should complete our quest. Maybe. Uh, retrieval task, 64 bone meal, 16 blaze powder, 6 leather scraps. Oh, you know what? We did not make the leather scraps. Now, I think we either get two or three per one of these. I can't remember exactly what it is. There's two different types of these leather boots that we've been getting, and this one produces two. <laughs> Okay, so we got to wait for two more of those to go through here. But yeah, these leather scraps, these are what we've been using to make regular leather. And then from that regular leather, we've been using that in the cauldron. Hmm, nope, millstone to scour it. And then we were putting that through the cauldron to make the tan leather and all of this stuff for the different things like the bellows, for instance. Yeah, anyway, so that should now be complete. Okay, okay, we good now? Did I click all the things? Turn that off, that off, that off. Okay, good. So, quest is now complete. We collected all these things that we needed. It says, grant us some of the items found from mobs. Easy. All right, so let's claim that. And one loot chest. We pop it, we get ancient motive core from embers. I have no idea what that's used for. Apparently, that's used for making ancient codex, which I think is the... The book for embers, right? We're definitely going to be needing this thing for later. 
Looks like we can also use that in this alchemy recipe thing to make a wildfire core, which... Oh boy. Hopefully we don't have to do a lot of ember stuff. I've used embers a little bit, and I gotta say it's not really my favorite mod. In fact, uh, I hear from a lot of people it's not their favorite mod either, so I am i don't feel like I'm alone in my, my thought on that. Anyway, uh, so leather and this ragged stuff, like we're getting those quite frequently from mobs. I'll go ahead and just dispose of them over there. Uh, we really got to figure out our storage situation. I should just make another... I should make another vanilla chest. Probably put it back here like we had before with our random stuff. But just make it specifically for mob drops. Yeah, we might be doing that here pretty soon. I did make some other chests actually uh, right here. Yeah, I decided since we had the saw upstairs and we can make chests out of eight of the, the the sightings i think is what they're called that we should just go ahead and do that so yeah i'll just start throwing some extra mob drops back here i suppose cool all right so that cleans up the inventory just a little bit now moving on from here yeah we saw the axle still needs to be done there's a vertical windmill and then there's also the dyes red dye green dye yellow dye now, I'm not really sure how to get... Well, we do have grass. We got one grass block. We don't have silk touch. So if we place that, we won't be able to pick it back up. Uh, green dye, I'm not so sure how to get. Maybe we should look at that. Green dye. Uh, yeah, I guess just this. So, ferns. We can also smell down various different things, which we don't have. Cacti, it looks like. There's probably a way for us to get cacti seeds, right? Ooh. So a millstone, oak leaves through the millstone gives us the dye. All right, so that's going to be easy enough. So we need six dye, I think is what it was, right? Okay, so let's look at the red dye. What do we need to get this? Is there a millstone recipe for this? There is. Poppies, uh, beetroot, bloodwood saplings. Okay, companion cube. Hmm. Okay, poppy. I don't know... You know, we do have overgrown netherrack outside in the nether. I am not sure. Well, I guess outside in the nether proper, outside of our base. I am not sure if we can bone meal that. Do we get grass? Do we get things that we can harvest like this right here? Does that work just like grass? Can you bone meal this? You absolutely can. I did not know this. Okay, so we're getting some flowers. I see a red circle. I think whatever that is doesn't know about me. Is that? Oh, it's a blazing juggernaut. All right. It's go time, boys. What up? What's up? You ain't got nothing anymore. Yep, those guys are no longer scary to me. <laughs> Thank goodness. We've been afraid of those guys for so long now. It's payback time for sure. So do we get poppies out of this or not? I'm seeing we get a lot of grass. What is that guy? That is a carnation. What incarnation? You know what? I should be vein mining that, shouldn't I? There we go. That's a little bit faster. All right, so we did get a dandelion, so that would be good. And a marigold. All right. Another dandelion. I assume we'll be able to get poppies then, right? Kind of makes sense that we should be able to. Now, these other flowers here, so let's look at the uses on this. So that turns into a carnation cluster. Two of those turn into a red dye. Uh, we can put it in the phytogenic insulator. Looks like we can combine these different flowers for different colors. Okay. Uh, well, we got another dandelion. I have not seen a poppy yet. Is a little disappointing. I was kind of hoping that we'd be able to get that pretty quickly, but we might have to go find ourselves... The bloodwood trees. Oh, there's one. Okay, so there's a poppy. There's another one. All right. Very. Oh, and there's one right there. Very good. I think that's probably all we need then to complete this quest. Let's see. We got three poppies, four dandelions, and then we have the leaves that we can put up into uh, the millstone up here. So, yeah. I guess we'll engage the noisy machines once again. We'll do the leaves first of all. That'll get our green dye. And then I'll put the rest of these through there. Poppies gives us four per, so we only needed two. I assume the dandelions are going to be pretty much the same as well. 
and yeah four each okay so i'll go ahead and run those through our millstone here we'll collect our dies and we'll be right back guys all right just a little bit longer and there it is that should complete all the dies that we need mill dies quest complete okay so there we go uh so that's gonna end up giving us a loot chest but our inventory is quite full at the moment let's go <laughs> put some of this stuff away we got so many different plant materials here i think i'll put them in this chest that i set up uh for all of our our mystical botania stuff and seeds and other such things that we've been getting from sifting kind of makes sense that these kind of all stick together i would think this doesn't go in there that doesn't go in there neither does the bone meal although the bone meal is a die technically so maybe we could put it in there okay well there we go so now that we got that done we can claim this chest it says pretty colors can be made from items found around here yep so we were able to do that very easily and that gives us five hay bales i think that's the second time we've seen that reward isn't it i'm pretty sure yeah we already have five here okay so we have those now so moving forward we just have a few quests remaining here in the better with mods section and i would like to try and get through those um, so vertical windmill, let's take a look at this one. If I can spell it right. I'm not even going to try vertical. Okay. Yeah. I was spelling it wrong. Windmill spin quicker when it's raining or storming. Check your gearboxes. All right. So we need wind sails, eight of those to make one vertical windmill. And the quest wants us to make, I feel like there's a pigment in here or something. I don't want to accidentally shoot it. Uh, the quest wants us to make one vertical windmill all right so we need eight of these and each one of those requires is that just paper what is this hemp cloth or tough fabric tough fabric comes from industrial hemp fiber and sticks oh boy um uh, yeah that could be a problem we have a little bit of hemp right we have a little bit of hemp here and that'll be enough for four so we're halfway nope nope that we're not even halfway guys because if we use that for the tough fabric we need six of those so we don't even have enough for one <laughs> hmm what to do about that so let's go back to this wind seal yeah the tough fabric or the hemp cloth and the hemp cloth oh we can make that directly with nine hemp fibers so why would there be this recipe I guess that's about the same, isn't it? This requires one more hemp per. All right. Well, in order to do what we need to do here, we need hemp. Uh, and the only hemp we've been getting is from sifting, I do believe. We might not be able to complete that one just yet. Yeah, we only have 19 hemp remaining. Do we have any hemp seeds? We do. So I don't know how these are planted and if you bone meal them or how any of this stuff works. I guess we could try planting one of these. Let's put, let's get rid of our sugar cane. Uh, I think we had a hoe in here, right? We've got an iron hoe from a mob drop. Do we have another one? Uh, no, it's a hatchet. I feel like we had another hoe in here somewhere. I'm not seeing it. Oh, well, let's just use the iron one. Okay, so there's that. Let's try planting a hemp seed. Very good. Can we twerk it? Probably not. I think the twerking really is only going to work with trees. Okay, so bone mealing this. What does that do? One, two, three. Okay, and then we get one of these. So it looks like between two to three bone meal gets us a hemp every single time. All right. Is that worth doing it that way? I don't know. And then again, the uses for each one of these gives us three hemp fibers. So maybe it's a, an okay way of doing that. Yeah, I think that should be fine. What else are we using the bone meal for at the moment? Nothing really, right? So maybe I'll just go ahead and spend the rest of our bone meal uh, going through this. Glad we didn't spend it all like <laughs> bone mealing the grass outside. Or I guess the overgrown nether rack. All right, so there's 17 hemp. Uh, the recipe for those we would have to sift gravel through a flint stiffened mesh and we get a 12 percent chance on that we do get some of the other things oh and that seed just decided to pop off i guess so i wonder what the requirement is for that seed to stay there is it a light level issue aren't these putting off late 
I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to continue on here, see if we can get some more hemp going on, and then we'll be back. Well, we used all of our bone meal to make hemp, and then I took all the hemp upstairs and I turned it into the hemp fibers with our millstone, but we still don't have enough. We have enough for two of those seals plus an additional four more. Uh, yeah, that's not going to get us where we need to be. So we need a lot more of this hemp. Uh, so I'm kind of thinking what we need to do is sift more gravel to make this stuff, right? So... Yeah, one gravel has a 12% chance of turning into hemp. In order to make gravel, we need cobblestone. And we still don't have a resupply of cobblestone coming in. We only have this triple and the double compressed. And yeah, we're, we were less than half of what we got from that one reward a while ago. We were looking at the cobblestone generator previously. I think it's time that we set that up and get this thing going. So we're making cobblestone all the time. And when we need to do things like this, we should have this available. So let's take a look at that real quick. So cobblestone generator from Tiny Progressions. We'll make one of these. So we need both a lava bucket and a water bucket. Uh, so we do have a lava bucket around here somewhere right here. And then we had water that I stored away over here a while ago. So yeah, we got that. So there's both our lava and our water bucket. All right. So now we need a piece of glass and then six stone. So that's pretty easy to do. Uh, we just need to smelt one piece of sand and get ourselves six pieces of stone. All right, so we now should have everything together to make ourselves this cobblestone generator. And there it is. Cool. And boop. There it is. Now we have two empty buckets. All right, so the bucket of lava, I really didn't have a place to put that before. Now we can keep another bucket on us for water or whatever else going forward. All right, so now that we have that, we should look at upgrading this to a tier two. Now to do that, we do need to wrap it with some iron, and we have plenty of iron now. So we'll go ahead and grab eight iron and upgrade this to a tier two immediately. Awesome. Okay, so moving on, we can upgrade that to a tier three, and that will make one cobblestone block every 10 ticks or two cobblestone per second. I think that's worth the investment of eight diamonds, especially now that we have a lot of diamonds. So we can go and do one of those. And there's a tier three. Now the tier four we were talking about before. Oh, we need uh, more gathering skill before we can place that. Hmm. Uh, we were talking about this before. That does require blaze rods. And as I've been uh, killing the blazing juggernauts, we have been collecting more blaze rods. We now are up to 20 of those. So we should be able to upgrade this thing, but since it does have the requirement of needing 28 gathering, we can't quite do that yet. Our gathering's at 27. So we need, oh, you know what? There it is, 28, perfect. We can do that now. I forgot we had all those levels on us. All right, so let's grab eight of these blaze rods and we'll upgrade this to the very next level, like so. And there it is, a tier four cobblestone generator. So this makes four cobblestone per second or one cobblestone every five ticks. 20 ticks in a second. Uh, all right. And is that the last one? No, there is an emerald one, which does require 36 gathering, which we definitely don't have, and some emeralds. And that will make one cobblestone every tick, so 20 cobblestone a second. I don't know if we need to go that crazy yet. Probably not. But now that we have the cobblestone generator, we need to figure out a way to store this stuff. Now, it kind of makes sense to me that we should look at making ourselves a compacting drawer one of these guys because this will automatically take cobblestone convert it into compressed cobblestone turn that into double compressed cobblestone just by inserting cobble into it. it makes sense that we should do that that requires five stone we only have four so let's make sure we get a fifth one cooked up here oh, oh actually i didn't see that we had stone on me okay so we don't need to do that uh we do need two pistons we have collected those from awards so we'll grab two pistons uh we need a basic drawer um basic drawer does that have any special requirements no so it's a chest and then six planks that's the default recipe we should be able to do that quite easily and we already have the chest pre-made over here all right so chest this that done i like it uh so what else are we gonna need for this thing was there something else we need one piece of iron all right so we can do that also grab that guy cool so compacting drawer so now we have a cobblestone generator and we have a place to store the cobblestone that will be generated i think now we don't have to worry about cobblestone at all going forward which is going to be great 
So we can place this here. The cobblestone generator automatically ejects the cobblestone into an inventory above it. And you can also right click on it to get any cobblestone that's built up inside of this. Uh, so if we press shift, we can see that this is generating cobblestone quite quickly. Yeah, we don't have to worry about the <laughs> cobblestone at all going forward. This is going to be great. In fact, we could probably take all of our cobblestone that we have over here and put it into this thing if we wanted to. Or we can extract the double compressed into another compacting drawer and turn that into the triple and quadruple compressed cobblestone. I don't know if that's going to be necessary. A thing that we can do, though, is since we've been getting these guys, these storage upgrades, we can just slap some of those in here. And I, did that say that was going to double? What does this thing say? This says it will increase four times the base value. So that's going to hold quite a lot of cobblestone in there just by adding that one upgrade. And we could probably add in other upgrades or make some higher tier ones if we want to upgrade it even further. I'm looking in here because I'm pretty sure we had more upgrades, but just not seeing them. Um... Oh, they're right here. Yeah, we can put all of those in there if we wanted to. So that's quite a lot of upgrades in here. So this will be generating a heck of a lot of cobblestone for us for our future use, which is going to be good. Guess we can put that thing away. We don't need that anymore. All right. So cobblestone is going to be under control. We still need to sift a lot of gravel. Well, we got to make gravel to sift it. Uh, we still got to sift a lot of gravel in order to get ourselves that hemp in order to make this stuff, right? And turn it into the fiber to make the sails, etc. So I'm going to get on this. I'm going to get a whole lot of our compressed cobblestone, uncompress it. Well, I guess turn it into the compressed cobblestone. I'll hammer it down and then we'll be back guys. Wow, that was a lot of gravel that I had to sift to get all of the hemp for and then running it through the mill upstairs. My goodness. So we have enough of this tough fabric now. In fact, I think I still had like two stacks of hemp left over. Yeah, two full stacks left over uh, for when we need it again. Hopefully we don't need that much again in the future. But there we go. There is eight of the wind sails. Now, I do believe we had to take those and just do one of these numbers. And there's the vertical windmill. Awesome. So that should complete the quest like it does right there. And uh, I don't think we're going to be using this, to be honest. Like, we are perfectly fine using what we're currently using. So I don't see a reason to use this one. Uh, but yeah, let's go and claim our loot chest. All right. So we get chance cubes, which we're never going to open. Nope, nope, not going to open a chance cube. Not until we can get to like a world where it doesn't matter and we have armor where we can't die, things like that. Yeah, don't have any plans of opening that up. Okay, so one of the last things here is a chime in the wind. I don't really know what this thing is. A oak wind chime. A wind chime will apply a redstone signal to stop gearboxes in bad weather. Oh, okay. So what is an oak wind chime? Oh, there's two different versions. There's a dark oak wind chime and an oak wind chime. Oh, that's not bad. That's, my goodness, this Enderman is really driving me crazy. Uh, so let's see. We need uh, three string, a wooden pressure plate. We need some molding. I think we can make the pressure plate real quick. I thought this was going to be more difficult than what it is, but this is pretty easy. Uh, let's grab an iron and a, no, two iron. <laughs> I can't remember. Uh, let's see. We need three string and then the oak molding. Three string. And then we just need to go upstairs and use our saw real quick. Unless we have a molding, which we might. I've been putting some stuff up here. We have an oak wood siding and no molding over here. Okay. Well, we'll have two moldings here in a second. So let's turn this thing on and place it. There we go. Cool. And turn the noisy machines back off again. So now we can do one of these numbers. Emits a redstone signal when raining or when an entity passes through it. Okay, well, that's not what the thing said, but yeah, that's pretty cool. So this will stop gearboxes uh, from working when there's raining weather. I don't know if that even affects us in the nether. People were saying in the comments that the reason this gearbox kept breaking on me before was because it was raining or whatever. I guess we can just go ahead and throw this guy right like that, and then it'll never turn on if we're having that problem. Although that shouldn't be an issue in the nether because we've got a roof, there's really no weather, etc., etc. Okay, so we got that all done. That's cool. What is our thing? Oh, it doesn't even give us a reward for that. It's just making it to make it. 
Well, the next couple of things here do require steel. We got a lot of the, the quests knocked out here. We're better with mods. I'm really enjoying this mod. It's not like the normal mods. There are some cool things about it and some things that probably should have an in-game manual or some kind of explanation without having to go to the wiki. That's my personal opinion. But anyway, that's going to do it for today. Thank you guys for watching. Remember to leave a like on the episode if you liked it. And we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye-bye.